The state police have just released a night vision photo of the inside of the boat where Jokar Sarnyev was hiding. This is the thermal image of the outline of his body. You can see he appears to be curled up against the side of the boat facing the fence. The boat was covered by a tarp. This was, of course, in the backyard of a home on Franklin Street in Watertown. The 19-year-old shot at police and was wounded before being captured. Sarnyev is still in the hospital tonight in critical but stable condition. Jokar Sarnyev was able to hide in that boat for hours and was only captured thanks to the quick reaction of one Watertown resident who noticed something suspicious in his own backyard. David Hennerberry called police after seeing blood on the boat in his driveway and just moments after police moved in. Robert Duffy is David Hennenberry's stepson. He noticed as the wind had picked up that the tarp was loose on the on the boat, uh, which was not normal. Uh, walked over for a closer glimpse and noticed one of the retention straps had actually been cut. Uh, it hadn't worn, it hadn't come free, it was literally cut. Um, there was a small amount of blood on the tarp from what I understand. Um, he then took his uh, stepladder that he used to usually inspect the boat. Didn't dot on him that somebody might be in there. No, one and one hadn't made two at that, that he, point. He takes a look, what does he see? He looks inside just under the tarp, sees a, a small pool of blood at that point. Um, again, it was kind of partly sunny yesterday under the, the tarp of the boat. Couldn't really get a really good view of what he saw, but he saw something hunched down uh, toward the, the forward of the boat. And, and his mind instantly did the right thing. He didn't try to be a hero. The Sarniev brothers were armed with six bombs, a rifle, and handguns at the location of the shootout in Watertown. President Obama met with